If I could, uh, some of these folks we know, they're celebrities in their own right. They're the biggest business people, the greatest retailers anywhere in the world. And one of them is Doug McMillan from Walmart. And I'd like to have Doug, if you would, say a few words, wherever you may be. Good, Doug, please. When we got the call yesterday from the White House, we were eager to do our part to help serve the country. And given what we're facing, that's certainly important to do. We should all be doing that. So we've been asked to make portions of our parking lot available in select locations in the beginning and scaling over time as supply increases so that people can experience the drive-through experience that the President described. We'll stay involved and do everything we can from a supply chain point of view to be of assistance. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it very much. I'll just stay right over here. And Richard, if you could come up, please. Richard, please. Walgreens, thank you. Yep. Thank, thank you, Mr. President. And similar to, uh, to Doug and Walmart, we're uh, happy to stand in here and help in communities all across America. Because a lot of times when we have natural disasters, uh, our stores are a beacon in the community. And this situation is no different. So we look forward to partnering with the CDC, the administration, HHS, and the task force, and specifically to uh, the vice presidents doing such a fantastic job. We're ready to engage and help. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great job. Thank you very much. Brian Cornell, Target. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, please. Well, Mr. President, thank you for inviting us here today, along with our colleagues from Walmart and Walgreens and our partners at CVS. Normally, you'd view us as competitors, but today we're focused on a common competitor, and that's defeating the spread of the coronavirus. And we look forward to working with the administration to do our fair share to alleviate this growing threat. So thank you for including us today. In the near term, we're all committed to making sure we're keeping our stores open to serve the American consumer who's rapidly stocking up on household essentials, key food and beverage items that they need during this time, making sure we run safe stores and create an environment that's safe for our team members, making sure that they feel supported during this very critical time. So thank you for including thank us. Thank you very much. Great job. Great job. Is Tom here? Tom Poland? Tom? Tom Paul? Please. Thank you, Mr. President. As uh, CEO of Becton Dickinson, we're one of the leading uh, providers of medical devices as well as collection uh, products uh, for testing of coronavirus. Uh, we're ramping up our manufacturing capacity to ensure that the right collection devices and uh, testing equipment are ready to, uh, to address this issue. Thank you, Mr. Thank President. Thank you very much, Tom. Great job you've done. Stephen Rakowski, Quest Diagnostics, please. Great job. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. So as, as mentioned, uh, we were called with the leadership of the Vice President uh, last week to come together as an industry. And we took uh, advantage of that opportunity to work with the FDA, to work with the Center for Disease Control. And we are up and running with tests in a number of our facilities. As the President mentioned, we now have capabilities from Roach Diagnostics that we will bring into our facilities this weekend. And uh, I know myself and us, my colleague at LabCorp, will be doing the same. So the capacity available to the American public to support this action with consumers will be considerably increased in the next few weeks. Thank you, Mr. Thank President. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks. And Matt Sauce, please, of Roche. Matt, thank you, Matt. Thank you, Mr. President. So from Roche, um, we want to thank the FDA for their rapid approval of our coronavirus test. Um, we really appreciate the partnership with the CDC and the FDA to get that to market as fast as possible because it's critical for us to make that available to help patients in need and working with laboratories to get it up and going in the near future, which will bring hundreds of thousands of tests available to patients in need in the United States. So thank you. And you can do it. You can do it. Can. Great company. David Pierre of Signify. Signify Health, please. Thanks, David. Thank you, Mr. President. We are the largest house call uh, provider in the U.S., and we go to the homes of the most vulnerable, elderly, and through our network and our logistics engine, we stand ready to help and provide our, our uh, clinicians to be where they're needed, whether they're in retail clinics or in the home, and we're here to assist. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we'll be changing a lot of the rules, regulations for future should this happen in the future, which we hope it never does, but it will, I guess, somewhere out there. There's some bad ones over the years, and uh, I guess that'll continue to an extent. But we hope it never happens, but we're going to be uh, changing a lot of the old 
rules and specifications and regulations. Adam Schechter, who's really been of tremendous help. LabCorp, please. Adam. Thank you, Mr. President. At LabCorp, we're working every second of every day to increase the number of tests that we can run. We're working with academic medical centers, with our colleagues at Quest, with other uh, hospital and other laboratories to ensure that we do everything we can to increase the testing as we move forward. And I can tell you, we understand how important the testing is, and we are committed to doing everything possible. Thank you very much. Great job. Thank you. Great. Thomas Moriarty, CVS. We all know CVS. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Thomas. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we have been focused since the start of making sure our patients and the customers we serve have the information they need, the safety they need as well. We are committed to working with the administration and local public health officials to make this work as well. And thank you, sir, for the honor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Great job. And Bruce Greenstein, LHC Group, tremendously talented people. Thank you very much. Mr. President, thank you for the honor of being here. And the home health industry has been treating uh, patients and seniors in the safety and comfort of their own home for decades. We're very proud to be part of the equation for testing in their own home. For Americans that can't get to a test site or live in rural areas far away from a retail establishment, we're here to help and to partner with our hospitals and physicians as well as the people we have here today that will be doing testing around the country. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> we'll practice that. Okay, I like that. That's good.